This is my father-in-law. He has been a father to me for 21 years before he passed away at the age of 77 due to colon cancer. He is the reason my wife and I moved to Texas. We wanted to spend time with him before he passed away. Since his passing, I have always wanted to make some kind of memorial of him. Today, I will make a memorial plaque honoring his memory. This is the pattern that I made out of the portrait that I showed you previously. I'm going to import it into easel. I am going to be cutting it out with a 60 degree CNC bit. After I carve out the pattern, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black acrylic lacquer gloss for the background and then I'm going to finish it up with the clear wood finish by deft. This is the first time using a 60 degree V carving CNC bit. After watching the CNC carve with this bit, I'm very surprised with the quality of the carve. The pattern is crisp and the detail in the lettering was very nice. I really enjoy my X-Carve and seldom have any issues using it. In this video I'm only going to demonstrate and show you how I'm carving out my dad. The other pattern I'm going to do that off camera because in this video you see me running my CNC without my dust collection. I normally run it with the dust collection so I don't get dust all over the place. But I took it off so I can show you how well this bit is cutting. Now after I do get done with the CNC carving I do plan on using that black Rust-Oleum lacquer to do the background and I'll do that also off camera because I don't want to bore you with spray paint. Now it's the favorite part of any project. Sanding. <laughs> Not really but anyway I've I forgot to change out the pad on the orbital sander and with this video you could tell that it wasn't cutting the paint too well. So I switched out to the belt sander and it did fairly well but you know it takes a lot off but uh, after I got down to where I was down to wood kinda I swapped back over to the orbital sander with a fresh pad and it did just fine. After the sanding's all complete, I take it outside to apply the deft clear wood finish gloss. I apply it to all the sides, 30 minutes per layer, and I sand between coats, up to 220 grit sandpaper. And I allow it to dry 30 minutes between each layer, so this took a while, but it's well worth it. Well, the project is complete. Since it's my mother-in-law's birthday, I've, I've decided we're going to give this to her. And, uh, Mom, if you're watching this, I hope you really like this. It's made out of love. I, I like it. I hope you do, too. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will address them as soon as I can. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel because I'll show you all kinds of things like woodworking builds and crafts, CNC projects, lathe turnings, product or tool reviews, tips or tricks, challenge contests, and more. Please hit the like button. It shows your love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.